So, uh, hello, my name is uh, Edis Wang. I'm from uh, Wikimedia User Group China. I'm the, one of the organizers of the Wikipedia Asian Month. Uh, uh, and I'm Ken Rick, uh, an admin from Indonesian Wikipedia, and I'm helping him for this. Okay. So, uh, here are some numbers that was mentioned in the video that in last year, November, we have Wikipedia Asia Month hosted on 43 Wikipedia project, which 23 Wikipedias, uh, actually less than 10,000 articles. Uh, total, we created 6,086 articles uh, by 1,096 Wikipedians all over the world. Uh, in the end of the event, we made to send uh, 500 age postcards to uh, 44 countries or regions in the world. So this is the map that uh, our postcard receivers of the Wikipedia Asian Month. And here's uh, the, uh, where the postcards coming from. So uh, why are we doing the Wikipedia Asian Month? Here's some of our missions. The first mi mission is we want to improve the Wikipedia content about Asia because it's sort of underrepresented on um, most Wikipedia projects. The second mission is we want to help small Wikipedia projects. Uh, the Wikipedia, if you're looking at English Wikipedia, it's very big, very large, but in fact, most Wikipedias of the Wikimedia movement has very small size, so we want to help them. And we also want to allow a chance for Wikipedians who not who in the middle of the curve, not the super editors or the newcomers, have a chance to get more involved into the movement and have a chance to receive some souvenirs of Wikimedia. And the, the final is we also want to enhance the Asian, within the Asian communities, uh, the understanding is missing. We want to take the Asian month as a chance to enhance that. So uh, here's more reasons why we're supporting the small Wikipedias. The first thing is there are a project in the Wikimedia of Moon and Das. Not many people really supporting the small Wikipedians because the outcome is not really good. It cannot generate many metrics. And, but in fact, a lot of languages, they are having very small size of their Wikipedia, but they have actually have very large amount of the native speakers especially in Asia. Uh, for example, uh, in the Bengali Wikipedia, it's about like uh, mm, 80,000 articles, but they only have, but they have like uh, 1 million, 100 million native speakers. Yeah, so uh, the, those small Wikipedians also, they are ignored or not involving the Wikimedia movement because most community don't really get in touch with other communities that much. They think they're small and uh, they, think they were thinking about when they attending a global uh, project, well, will I be eligible to do that? And there's many questions, so it's hard to, for them to step forward and uh, do something different. Here's some uh, Wikipedia project, 23 of them are less than 10,000 articles. 
we have Wikipedia Month happens last year uh, on Ever Wikipedia, which is language speak, spoke in uh, Russian by minority ethnic minorities, which only have 2,000 uh, 2, articles. So that's the editor in the middle. So if you uh, take a look at this rugby of American football, based on your preference, <laughs> uh, you can see that in the middle of this ball, it's very large. And uh, people don't focus in on that. People focus in on either this edge or other edge. It's super editors or new editors. We have many projects to promoting this. It, it, there's many projects we're getting more involved with new editors. So we have created a lot, lot of chance that uh, super editors to have, have many chance to get more involved with movement. But in fact, many people don't even get a chance to attend any local event of the Wiki, Wikipedia. So we're doing postcard. Why are we doing postcard? Because postcard is so cheap. In China, you can send three postcards internationally with one dollar, one US dollar. And well, that's original uh, plan from the social media project I've done in the China. And it actually have very high values, but not physical values, it's meaningful values. If for, for Wikipedia never received our Wikimedia souvenirs, which if you haven't get a chance to attend a local event, it's really hard to get a Wikimedia souvenirs. If you want to buy some from the Wikimedia store, it's expensive, very expensive. So we send you those for, for those people, postcard, even just postcard, it's have very big value and meaning to them. But we, we need cr criteria. It's not like uh, if you sign up, you have, have made some edits, we can give you a postcard. That makes the postcard meaningless. If everyone can get a postcard, uh, well, that's just, yeah, I, you, don't, you don't feel the meaning the, of the postcard. So we have very strict criteria in the Asian months. Here's the postcard, by the way. Uh, up, up is a, a total of six different postcards, and uh, the, the lower photo is people is actually writing postcard in Taiwan and prepare to send it to, to the globally. So what criteria we have? Uh, so if you know Wikipedia, you actually know ask uh, some new users, or, or, or just like uh, middle users, to write some articles above 3,500 bytes, and more than 300, 300 words is not easy. And you need to write five of them. And also you need to fulfill, of course, the notability. Uh, you, have, you must have uh, resources, something like that. And you cannot write about your own country. That's, on Chinese Wikipedia, we do lack of content about Asian, but not about China. So, for example, in, in Chinese Wikipedia, we don't allow people creating uh, content about China, mainland China, Taiwan, Macau, Hong Kong, so we can better in, enhance our understanding. You can have more, more coverage on the Asian content. Uh, so what makes us successful? How could you also run an event like this to be success? The first and a very important thing is communications. Uh, the one thing we do is we're sending the guidance and updates throughout the event in a month we send a total of 10 times of the updates and uh, those updates are sometimes being translated to Russian just because there are like two or three minority languages in Russian their organizers don't speak English or don't really speak English and we have also many discussion channels you can discuss stuff with patient months on Facebook on email on with meta page Here's what, uh, two of the uh, updates we sent. It's not like a one sentence, hey, the Asian Man Star, let's join. It's uh, step by step tell you how to do it, what you need to do, what, what kind of page, template, category you need to translate it. Uh, when people are asking specific questions that may confused by the rules, how do you answer that? So the other thing is outreach. As I said, smaller Wikipedia communities afraid to step forward because they concerning if they are eligible. They will ask themselves, why should I attend? Is that Wikipedia Asian Month like a, a global event? Can we attend? It's, it, it's, it's applied to also other uh, projects as well. So 
we're using the central notice first to uh, try to get more people to know, know, that, uh, know about the project and sometimes the site notice. We also have a Facebook event page. Uh, we also um, are telling the small communities that we're not competing. As long as you have one people attending and one article is created, it's successful. You don't have to compete with projects like in English Wikipedia that will have most articles created on that project. And uh, the next thing is reward. Reward is very important in all kind of projects involving with the participants. So first it's postcard, of course, we uh, covered in the previous discussions. And we also have thank you message for everyone who signed up and a bench that who everyone who com accomplished the mission of the five articles. We also have one very important thing called Wikipedia Asian Ambassadors. It means nothing, basically. It's just a paper certificate, not even physical. It's a digital certificate endorsed by seven Wikimedia affiliates. It says, we recognize you as the Wikipedia Asian Month Ambassadors, and we reward it to whoever created most articles on single Wikipedias. If we don't have something like that, people will just write five articles and stop. And uh, that's not what we, 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 we want. Thank you. Uh, so the next thing that we think that might make us uh, successful is because uh, we have a good assistance channel. Uh, this is because uh, we have uh, a lot of sample pages that you can go and take it on your own local wiki and just translate it and it becomes, and you automatically become an organizer on your own local wiki. And this sample page is quite, uh, the design of this sample page is quite attention grabbing so that uh, the people visiting by can easily uh, pay attention and um, register for the event. And we have also a template band star for those who have completely participated in the event and we send it out after we finish the event. And these uh, messages uh, only need to be translated to their own local wiki. The next one is we have a full detailed guideline on uh, how to do this, how to do that, and uh, this guideline derives, uh, derives from uh, past experience in Indonesian Wikipedia where we ever did a similar editathon and we adapt these to, uh, rules and regulations and all the experience to this Wikipedia Asian one. Besides that, we have a top page where on MetaWiki where everyone can uh, ask questions and they can also find who to contact to ask questions. We also have a special tool uh, to use for the judging uh, phase of this event. So what is the tool? The tool, which has no name uh, currently, is, is just pulling out the contributions of the users uh, used via the MediaWiki API and uh, during the event dates itself, and then the judges can give comments on the participants' articles. And these comments, whether it's accepted or whether it is not completed yet, it is, the data is itself is saved on MetaWiki. So, uh, and the interface is quite simple, but not that, uh, not that user-friendly. So some, some judges need some guidance and we are happy to guide them. Besides that, this tool is very useful in a post-event report because this, using this tool, we can easily generate all the metrics like how many articles create, how many articles are created, how many articles are accepted, how many articles are not accepted, how many articles, how many bytes of those articles are also are created. And using this tool, uh, besides that, we have also uh, word count feature and word count is a really hard feature uh, especially of to support in Indian languages, uh, Chinese languages and all other languages. And for the future, uh, we recently we are, we are contacted by this Russian Wikipedia user called Deloy who said that he has developed a similar kind of tool in JavaScript uh, and it is a uh, and it is a JavaScript gadget for in Wikipedia to 
also similarly to uh, to judge the articles and which has kind of similar features and we are going to explore this uh, tool for the upcoming Wikimedia Asia Month. So to wrap up, uh, find the Wikipedia Asian Month in your own local wiki, and if it doesn't exist yet, please come join us, and you can find, a, find all the instructions on MetaWiki. Just type WAM and enter, and you'll be redirected to Wikipedia Asian Month. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any questions? I guess there's no questions. No. All right. Uh, thank you, everyone. I think there are some close. Oh, please. How many people are in China using Wikipedia? Uh, how many people in China are doing what? Using Wikipedia. Using Wikipedia? No, no. People working on Wikipedia. Uh, based on one edit per month, it's 2,000. 2,000 in the whole China. Mainland China. Just mainland China, to be clear. Sort of. People find a ways. I'm from Shanghai. Shanghai. No, he's from Indonesia. Thank you. Uh, I think it's an open closing ceremony somewhere. So let's go ahead today. Go. Cool.